Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass weekly quest guide. Today we're going to be working on the quest for What Remains of Edith Finch. This is worth 50 rewards points. We need to eat one rabbit in the game before January 31st, and this is available on Cloud Gaming, so if you want to, you can play it that way. And I've actually played quite a bit of this game before and unlocked all of the achievements within it. It's pretty cool, but I'm going to show you the fastest way to get that rabbit. So as soon as we start out with a new game, you just want to look down at the book that's on your lap, hit the right trigger, and then use your right stick to kind of move over to the left. Sometimes you'll have to move items within this game after you first interact with them. And when you do the movement, you'll do that with the right stick. So we're reading Edith's diary at this point and going back in time and kind of seeing through her eyes what she saw as she went back to the old house that she used to live in. So we're just going to start moving forward with the left stick and you'll see different words from the diary appearing as we move throughout this area. And we're basically just going to move forward along the obvious path and go through the no trespassing barrier and just push right through that and continue on the path to the house. And unfortunately there's no sprint in this game. Basically that's just so that we actually get all of the story and don't miss any of the elements of the story as we're going along. You want to take the right path here at the fork and we'll just continue on. So you might be thinking, why am I going to eat a rabbit? Well, in just a little while, we're going to do some shape shifting and we're actually going to change into a couple of different animals. And one of those animals is an owl. So we will grab one of those rabbits and eat it as we are an owl in one of the character's memories. A little strange, but hopefully you'll enjoy your short playthrough of this game. This will probably take us about 10 minutes or so to complete the entire quest. So not too incredibly difficult. So we'll just continue on the path here and keep reading more of the diary entries that appear on screen. And we are getting close to the family house now. It's coming up on the left and you'll see that. And we're actually gonna take the path that goes up to the left towards the garage to get inside the house a little bit faster. All right, so when we get up here to the garage, we're just going to take a left, and there is a doggy door that's over here that we can go through. So you don't need to hit any buttons or anything. You just kind of push forward into this, and we'll go into the garage. And then we can move around to the left side of the room to go around the car and all of the boxes and everything that are here. And then we'll need to hit the right trigger on this doorknob here to get the door open. So we're going to move on through and we're heading to the staircase that's at the back here. So take a left and go up the stairs. And there's some unavoidable dialogue at the top here. And after that's over, you just do basically a 180 turnaround and then go into this bluish room that has the shark painted on the wall. This is where we need to go to get the first story from one of the family members. So we have a key. We're going to hit the right trigger to use the key. And then this is where we're going to need to start using the right stick to start moving things. So move the right stick over to the right to move that latch and then move it over to the left to open up the cover of the book. And then we're going to hold up on the right stick to lift this up. We'll move into this little secret area back here. And there's another little doorway that we need to open up here. So hit the right trigger on that and lift that up. And then we'll be into Molly's room here and we can read Molly's diary entry. All right, so move over to Molly's diary here, press the right trigger and open it up. And then we'll get into her story. And Molly is the one that has the part of the story that has the rabbits in it. So we are on the right track. Except Molly went to bed without dinner, so she got very hungry. Apparently this all happened back in 1947. All right, so we're waking up as Molly. We just move forward, go to the gerbil cage, and hit the right trigger to eat the carrot that's in there. And then we're going to take a left, and then open this door into the bathroom 
and unfortunately she's so hungry that she's going to eat her own toothpaste tube here, so we need to hit the right trigger to start that off. I hope nobody's queasy as they're working on this quest, but if you are, I apologize. Hit the right trigger to eat the berries that are over by the window. And then we're going to turn around, go back into the room, and over at Molly's window there is a bird over there that we're going to chase now. Apparently Molly is so hungry she wants to eat the barn swallow. So now we're going to hop outside. You don't really have to do much here. You just automatically change into a cat. So now whenever you want to jump as a cat, you can hit the right trigger. So we're basically just going to keep following the barn swallow. So wherever you see it jump to, that is the path that we're going to take to keep following the bird. And we're mostly going to stay on the tree branches when we can. So hop up to this higher tree branch. And now we're going to hop over to the edge of the roof, to the gutter over here, and then over to this post, and then back up to the tree branches. And then you kind of have to turn around a little bit here to hop onto a different tree, and then take a left onto this branch. Then we can hop across to this other larger tree branch. And here we need to actually switch to the ground the landing area that's up here kind of a little tree house take a right around the table just kind of curve around the table and chairs that are up here and then there's another tree branch past that where the bird is and we're just going to keep getting higher and higher in the branches as high as you can and then this is the last one that we need to jump to up here and this is where she catches the barn swallow and then we change forms again. So now we are an owl and we are hunting for those rabbits that we've been after all along. So here we go. So you can control your owl's movement with the right stick here and you'll want to hit the right trigger when you're ready to swoop down and grab a rabbit. And you'll know that there's a rabbit coming up when you see white letters on the bottom of the screen. It'll usually say the word rabbit. And when you see that coming up, it really kind of highlights exactly where the rabbit is. That's when you want to swoop down. So you can see I've got it right in front of me here. So hit the right trigger, swoop down, and then you can still kind of control your swoop a little bit with the right stick. So you can move yourself as you're getting close to the ground and just try to really hone in on where that rabbit is and pick it up. So at that point, the quest unlocked for me and if you miss, you do get multiple chances. So I missed a few times after this, just kind of going back and experimenting and trying more swooping. Here's another attempt that I took to get my second mama rabbit. You can see how I was kind of swooping back and forth as I went down and kind of honed in on the rabbit and where it was. So hopefully that'll work for you. Just make sure you're swooping. When you see the white letters coming up in front of you, that really marks where the rabbit is and helps you to get it. So at this point, we can switch back to the Game Pass app and go ahead and turn in that 50 point quest. So there we go. And that is going to do it for what remains of Edith Finch. We've got a guide out already for Football Manager 2022 if you're looking for that one. And we'll have a guide coming out a little bit later on tonight for the very last Omno achievement that we're still missing. So we'll work on grabbing 60 rewards points, doing that and finishing up that game. So I'll see you in that guide. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.